you, do you smell that? No, it's not what the rock is cooking. It is the scent from the Aroma 360 Van Gogh 360 HVAC scent diffuser. And if you were here right now, you would smell like a, I don't know, a luxury hotel. In fact, that's what so many of their different scents come from. But there's two things that I wish I knew before I installed this in my HVAC system. Keep on watching to find out more and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. Let's dive in and I'll tell you everything you need to know about the Van Gogh 360 from Aroma 360. Keep on watching. All right, talking about scent is kind of weird, right? Like how am I supposed to tell you what Bergmont smells like or burnt eucalyptus? I don't, I have no idea how people come up with the different names for different scents. But the number one thing you need to know before I dive any deeper into my review here is the number one thing that matters. This is overly obvious, but the number one thing that matters is scent. If you do not like the scents of Aroma 360 and you can fill out this link right here and you can get them to send you a couple different samples. But to be honest with you, we did find some scents that we liked, but it took us a little bit longer than it does with something like Pura because Pura has name brand scents. Aroma 360 has scents that are either directly in some luxury hotels and some that are just simply inspired by luxury hotels. There's nothing wrong with either one of those, um, but the number one thing that everyone needs to remember is you have to like the scent. That's the number one thing. So make sure you like the scent from Aroma 360. I have got the little diffuser first actually to make sure I like the scent. Let me grab it for you and I'll show you. And see, here it is. Here's the little diffuser that's in my office. So I just went and grabbed it. It's super easy because you can use the little tiny um, scent diffuser there, uh, scent oil there, put it in here. Lasts for a really long time. Um, get it on there, right? <laughs> Got it on. Sleek, comes in white and, or maybe silver in this color. But I, as you may have seen in there, I had the black velvet scent, which I don't even know how to describe what it smells like. It smells like maybe like a little bit of a, uh, I don't know, masculine scent mixed with a little bit of like a citrus scent. It's probably the best way to explain it. But this is how I tested all the different fragrances before I put it in the HVAC system. So you can get a smaller little device like this from Roma 360, test out the small little vials. The small vials actually even work in the larger Van Gogh 360. Um, it, it just obviously doesn't last as long because it's a small vial. Um, but let me talk just more about what the Van Gogh 360 does that this guy does not. All right, well, obviously this can be placed anywhere where you have a power outlet. I unplugged it here, but it's here and it has a old fashioned remote. And I actually like that for this. It's nice and easy. If I'm in my office, the dog's stinky, I'm stinky, outside stinky, whatever. I can hit a button and it starts going. I actually really like that. But on the Van Gogh 360, it's much more complicated. And it has to be because you need to be able to control it from anywhere in the world. You need to be able to program it. You need to make sure that it's running when your HVAC system is running. So let's talk more about the Van Gogh 360 and how that works. This is the Van Gogh 360. Super simple design, looks really good. It's got a way to mount it on a wall if you need to mount it on your furnace. This is the uh, diffuser tip that you use if you just wanna leave it out. You could just put it on the shelf over here and uh, let it go. Obviously you'd have this big thing um, hang on, it is, it is rather substantial. It's not super lightweight. I don't know the exact weight, but I'd say it's probably about 10 pounds or so. Uh, it does have a little bit of a LED screen here with some controls. Once again, it's not plugged in. Plug-in is downstairs where this is living, but you can program the whole thing by using these buttons on 
this device. It does have a key that goes in the top, and on the top, you can unscrew it and replace the vials real quick. I'll show you a quick clip of me doing that when I was first setting this up. Check it out. Unlock the at atomization head by the key over here. Oh. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a fun little cord there. Oh, that's cool. Little fluid thing there. That's where you put the oil out clockwise direction. Uh -huh. I think I could just put it in one of these things. Let me check real quick. All right, here. Here's the first guy. It's called the Bliss. I'm gonna see if this works without filling this up because I just don't want to make a giant mess here. The Bliss is supposed to smell like the Bliss Spa at W Hotels. Don't know if this is gonna work or not. Doesn't look like it does it. Nope. Let's try that. Right here. Obviously not very much in there, right? But we'll try it out and show you how it works here. Down there, so obviously not very much fluid. Once again, this is not the final resting place of this bad boy. I just wanted to show you before I put it out where it is uh, in the HVAC unit. Setting up the device is relatively easy. You can plug it in, use the controls to go up and down. But if you look at reviews online, you will find out that it's not the easiest thing to program with your phone. There's a couple different ways to do it. It's not 100% clear, but you can figure it out. It's not a deal breaker by any stretch of the imagination, but you can set that up on your phone. Then you can program it to run when your HVAC system is running. That is the number two thing that I would recommend you think about before buying the Van Gogh 360. The Van Gogh 360 and any of the Aroma 360 HVAC diffusers and any HVAC diffuser at all needs to be ran when your HVAC unit is being ran. I typically have the fan running so I can spread the center around, but I had to turn that off so you could hear me a little bit better with the microphone. And we have time of day pricing here in Colorado. And so from two to seven, our power is like three or four times more expensive. And I actually have our HVAC unit turn off entirely during that time and have it get cooler before. And now you can run the fan. It takes a lot less electricity than full blown air conditioning or heating, but that's just something to remember. Our fan is actually kind of loud. We have a giant intake over here and that intake makes a lot of noise. Here, listen. See? And so if you can live with that sound while that's running, that's the only way to get your HVAC diffuser to spread the scent throughout your home. And we have a giant, way too big house. Uh, we built it ourselves. We didn't need a, a house this, this big, but it was the only floor plan that worked on this lot. And we actually have two HVAC units. One is uh, for the basement and the main floor, and the other one's for the top floor. Now I put this in the basement and main floor. Together that's about almost 3,000 square feet. This is rated for I think 1,500 square feet and it works fine. You will find that diffusers like this do a lot better job spreading the scent around, not only because it's coming through the vents and your vents are, should be designed to spread the air around equally, but it also breaks it down into little micro droplets and so it's easy to spread, it's pushed out versus a diffuser like Pura, which just kind of sits there and doesn't have a mechanism to force the droplets of scent out. Does that make sense? The next thing you need to know when you set up the Van Gogh 360 is you do have to do a little bit of work. You do need to have a outlet nearby. I had to use an extension cord and then you can drill a hole in wherever the air supply line goes out closest to the furnace. And so in our basement, 
it goes up and then it splits and then it goes through here and then through the basement. So I just put it right next to where that cold air supply, not the return, which is what the, the you actually hear with this big grate over here, that's the air being sucked in. You gotta put it in the place where it's closest to being in the middle of where air is spread out of your HVAC system. I know it's a bit of confusing. I won't spend a whole lot of time on it because there's a ton of tutorials that are online about how to do it from this manufacturer and from other manufacturers that make some similar products, but you can do it. it takes like 15, 20 minutes after you get it set up. It took me a little bit longer to get it set up because I was trying to program it, but just something to consider. The unit itself looks great. It fits in even though now it's in her basement, you don't need to see it. It is pretty quiet. You can hear it just a little tiny bit when it turns on, not when it's in its basement, but I had it testing out here to see if we even like some of the scents. You could hear it when it turned on. Really, really subtle. Nothing, nothing crazy whatsoever. So you can hear it just a little bit if it's out in the open and you don't have to place it in an HVAC spot, which is awesome. But once again, it all comes down to two things, like I said. It all comes back down to scents. What smells do you like? And if you like like the W Hotel or some of these other fancy high-end luxury hotels and you want your whole house to smell like that, then check this out. I mean, it's pretty cool. It's pretty inexpensive when you compare it to like candles. Like candles are what, like 20, 30 bucks a piece? It's crazy, right? So it's not that expensive when you think about it in comparison to candles and running all the time. Which brings us to my next point is you do have to do a little bit of work to make this work for your schedule. Once again, you have to have the fan going in order to spread out the scent everywhere in your home. Not a problem, that's what it's designed for. It's designed to have the fan on. It just means that you have to listen to the fan. I personally don't mind it whatsoever if you want the scent to be diffused. The scent has to be being diffused on the device and you have to have the AC kick on like it just did right there. I don't know if you could hear that or not. Uh, the AC just kicked on in here. And so I have the device turned off right now, but if the device is turned on and there is no fan running, you're just gonna get scent kind of stuck in your ducts. Um, not a big deal, but it's not something I would want a whole bunch of excess scent. And so I would probably program this to run, you know, right before I get the time of day pricing increase. So probably, you know, from like 11 to two, um, and then kick back on for a little bit at night. And the smell does linger it, in a good way, not a bad way. And so it's okay if it's not running all the time, but you kind of got to pick and choose. Do I want this to run at it some exact period of time where I know it's going to smell good, like when you first wake up in the morning, or do you want to maybe waste some potential fluid uh, by spraying it in the ducts when the fan's not running? Once again, not a huge, huge deal. But those are the two things I would think about when looking at the Aroma 360 HVAC diffusers. Whew, that is a mouthful to say. I really like other diffusers too. We have Pura that's spread kind of throughout the house. We have Aera, which we use actually for odor removal. If something's like stinky in the garage, we use our Aera with some of their new odor removing technology that's in their diffuser. Been using Aroma 360 in my office and now our whole first floor but it all comes down once again to scent. One of the reasons I do like Pura just a little bit for small spaces is it has alternating scents. And so we use the Capri Blue Volcano and we use the Capri Blue Havana Vanilla that are very different smells. And it's the whole thing, like remember the plug it ins with like the two different scents that are different? It's because you notice it when the scent changes. Our noses, have olfactory, uh, I can't remember what it's called, olfactory responses or olfactory memory where it gets used to the same smell. Have you ever come, come into your house after a long vacation and been like, man, this place smells terrible. Well, guess what? It probably smells bad all the time, but your nose got so used to it that it never bothered to tell you, hey, this kind of stinks. And so you get used to this sense and I recommend changing it out because you won't smell it yourself, you know, after the first couple weeks. Uh, you may smell it, you know, once it comes back on, if it's been off for a, for a while, um, but it cannot alternate scents. I believe uh, they may have one that does switch between scents, but I would just recommend putting one scent at a time, you know, a couple weeks, change it out, rotate it, super easy to do so. 
But that's the number one thing that anyone looking at this needs to remember is it's all about scents. If you like the scents from Aroma360, once again, you can get some free samples of their scents or try out using a really small Aroma360 diffuser first and see if you like it. If you do, then you are going to love the Aroma360 HVAC diffuser because it's gonna spread that same scent all throughout your home. You're not gonna to have to worry about turning it on or remember to blow out a candle and your whole home is gonna smell like a luxury hotel. I hope you like that. If you do, then check out Aroma 360's HVAC diffusers. You can do it yourself. You can plug it in. Just make sure you know where your air supply is coming to, out of the, of the unit and make sure you can plug it in. Then just put the tube in there and that's all you gotta do. It's really pretty simple. If you have any questions or comments about this or anything else that we've talked about on We Try It, is there any other diffusers or any other scents you would like us to try out? Please let us know in the comments below and I hope to see you again real soon.